Okay, we're back down at the house and getting ready to get started again. We're gonna focus on casing this afternoon. We've got to uh, do some work in Grant's room. I'm gonna case the two windows in there. And then we're gonna case the inside of his door opening. I've also got some shoe molding that I can put down in the laundry room. And then lots of other stuff. Amber's gonna need some help with uh, the vanity in the bonus room bathroom. So I'm gonna give her a hand with that. Dad's gonna be over after a while and uh, give us a hand as well. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. All right, so we're gonna be working in Grant's room to start things off. I've got two windows in here to case. So I'm gonna get started with those. Shouldn't be too bad. Looks like I'm gonna have to do a little work on the drywall. Unfortunately, the drywall is standing proud on a lot of these windows, which makes it a pain, but uh, we've got a solution for that. This one looks like yeah, looks like it's standing a little proud on this one as well. So we're going to have to take the hammer to it and uh, massage it a little bit, make some room for that. So I'm going to cut the uh, stool and then go ahead and get the casing and everything put up on this window. And I'll move over here and we'll finish up in here with this door opening. I've also got the uh, sliders that I could go up and you know, go ahead and hang in here. So. Um, let me work on this case, cased opening as well. All right, I got the stool ready to be nailed into Grant's window here. And it was a tricky fit. This is tight over here. This wall is a little bit short, so I didn't have room for the full stool. So I had to cut uh, the end of it off, but it had to fit nice and tight. So you can see we've got uh, a real snug fit there. And then also this wall kicked out a little bit in the corner. So you can see I had to fit it tight against the casing or the uh, jam, excuse me. Had to fit it tight against the jam and then it had to then kind of wing out uh, to match the contour of the drywall to go in there tight. So that was a pain. And then uh, this one over here also, the drywall is sticking out a little bit. So I had to do a stepped cut because it had to go tight against the jam here, but then it had to step out just a little bit to get it to fit all the way flush against the wall. So. Kind of a pain. I got the rest of the uh, drywall massaged with my mini sledge. Got that all cleaned out and uh, ready to go. So we're gonna go ahead and get some measurements and cut our casing to go around this opening. All right, so we got our steel nailed in place and we've got our sides on. Now we gotta do our header. So we'll have to get a measurement for that. And then we'll be able to go ahead and do the apron. And get this one finished up. Well, it's looking better. It is looking better. We got uh, all this window cased out. Yeah. That apron looks good. Nice and tight against the wall there. Dad's here, give me a hand. How's it going, Dad? <laughs> it's going great, isn't it? Better than it was. Better than it was, yeah. We're closer now than when we started, right? That's right. We don't want to have to lie about it. <laughs> so we just got uh, Grant's door cased on the inside. I had to do some serious uh, massage work with the sledgehammer. It may or may not have uh, spilled over onto the, beyond the casing there. I have to come back and uh, slick that up. Do a little repair work there. Sorry about that, honey. But uh, overall, the casing looks good. Yeah, looks fine. Considering how uh, cockeyed the wall was when we started. Turns out uh, with enough nails and careful cuts, you can get it to look pretty good. So we got both sides cased. So this door is done. Now uh, we're gonna move on to uh, put some crown up in the hallway here. Should be a kick in the pants. Lots of uh, weird corners and a uh, two-story four-year to work over. A couple of 45s here. That'll be fun. Uh, this one's not straight. I'm sure they're all really straight. <laughs> But it's gonna look good when we get it done. That's what I always say. Where do you want to start, Dad? Somewhere besides the stairwell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not over here. Okay, yeah. that's a good plan. That's Maybe back in the back corner there, above the guest room door. Yeah, start on one of these walls and work out. Yeah, start on this. Start one. there, and then this uh, all the way around. Yep. One, two, three. If you're lucky. Okay. Well, we're gonna cut some pieces. And see what we can get into here. All right, so we're working on crown here in the upstairs hallway. We got our piece cut, and uh, what's the chance it's gonna fit, Dad? 
Well, we measured three times it ought to fit. Measured three times, cut eight times. Uh, so hopefully we're close. It's an outside corner and then uh, we're butting up to the wall on the other end there. So we're gonna hold this up, see if it'll fit. If so, and then we'll go ahead and cut our piece that runs the other way. And then we'll go ahead and glue our corner. That way it stays nice and tight when we put it up there. <laughs> Whoops. Out of nails. <laughs> Just sums up our day, doesn't it? Pretty much, yeah. Pretty much. As tight as that's going to get. Yeah. Well, that looks good. Considering the fact that it uh, pulled off the wall a minute ago. Yeah. It's not bad. Not bad. We can put a few more nails in the rest of this thing. Okay. Yet another hump in the ceiling. Yeah, you it's can pretty sweet. see it. That's <laughs> pretty sweet. Oh, gosh. Wow. Do your best. The joint looks pretty good though. It does. Those lap joints are tough to make look good, and that looks pretty good. You think you put those cleats on the wall? Mm hmm. That's the secret. will be the last crown for today because I'm going home. <laughs> Anything else for me to do? Oh, I've got a huge list. <laughs> All right, so we got the crown looking good here in the upstairs hallway. Quitting on that for the evening though, because I lost my helper. Getting ready to go to the house and uh, work on dinner for the family. So I'll pick up here uh, probably later this week when I get some help. We'll uh, do a coat joint there and then run down here to the wall above the master bedroom doorway and then a coat joint over there. And that's gonna be challenging, as you can see. It's a long way down there. So I'm not sure exactly what the best way to be, uh, what the best way will be to uh, get out there and put that up. So I gotta do some thinking on that. Now, so since we're done with the crown for now, I'm in the master bedroom closet. And I'm gonna work on casing out this window. So I got my Stool downstairs already. I've got it marked out. I'm gonna go ahead and get it cut, ready to go on. And then uh, we'll go ahead and get our casing and everything cut and get it nailed up. So work on that. And then uh, after that, if I'm still feeling energetic, I'll go ahead and start on the casing for this door here. All right, this is where I'm gonna wrap up for the evening. Uh, as you can see, I got the stool cut, got it fitting nice and tight against the jam, but I just uncovered a problem. Yeah, the stool goes over top of the uh, switch box and the piece of casing that I held up there to kind of test fit revealed that the uh, switch cover is probably gonna hit on the edge of the casing. So what I may end up doing is uh, 
moving that switch box over a little bit. I'm not sure which side of the uh, the stud it's sitting on. Yeah, it looks like it's attached to this side. So potentially I could uh, saw right here and cut the nails off and then come over here and find the next stud and slide the whole thing over and, and reattach it if there's enough wire there uh, to make that happen. So what a pain, but uh, yeah, we'll get it taken care of. This is one of those things that uh, until you start putting trim up, you don't think about. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, finish cleaning up here and call it a night. I'm gonna head up to the house and rest a little bit. Got a busy work week uh, coming up starting tomorrow. And so I gotta get a little rest in so I can, uh, can tackle that. Thank you guys for hanging out with us today. Appreciate you tuning in for this episode of Woodmere State Revival. We'll be back again real soon with another episode. Be sure to hit that subscription button so you don't miss any of the upcoming episodes. Give us a like if you would, please. Got any comments or questions, be sure to leave those down below. And as always, please tell your friends and family and coworkers and neighbors and strangers on the street about Woodmere State Revival. We're doing a lot of fun stuff here and trying to get this house finished up inside so we can uh, get moved in. Lots more to come, though, and we'll see you guys again real soon with another episode. Take care. Bye.